This is Caliber Zero here for Mind Test Mod Showcase, and today I'm going to show you um, part of one of my favorite mods, which is um, the Nuke mod made by Shadow Ninja. Now, the part of this mod that I'm going to show you is the um, missile launcher. Now, I'm not going to go much into this mod. I'm going to go more into just the missile launcher. Um, the rest of the mod is fairly straightforward. Um, it's pretty much like the other um, nuke mods out there, but it's um, is the Lua Voxel manipulator, so it's a bit faster and works a bit a little bit differently, but not much. I want to go over the um, missile launcher because that's a fairly different thing that it adds. Um, so here's the forum topic for the um, mod, and I will be sure to include the. Um, URL in the video description. And this mod also has a GitHub repo so you can download it straight from that. And now going to the actual mod. Now um, to use the missile launcher you first want to have a missile. These are disposable and one, e one missile equals one launch. Um, so you have to get as many missiles as you want to launch. Then you want to get a um, missile controller and missile launcher. And you're going to want to set those up. Set the missile launcher. And then um, I think you just have to go back here and set the missile controller. I'm not sure if you can put it anywhere around here, but I usually just put it around here because it looks like it's where you're supposed to put it. Um, then you got to um, set the missile launcher. Just um, place it on top of the missile launcher. And, um, and that's the basic setup for the launcher. Now, um, if you just set this off right now, you right click on the missile controller, and it starts out with the coordinates for the position to strike being the coordinates of the controller. So if you fire it right now, it'll go straight up into the air, and then straight down, and hit the launcher pad, and it explode. Which wouldn't be very good. And now for this, say you had um, a target to strike. I've already pre-built this tower here. Um, and so say you're like play, um, playing game against someone and you're trying to hit their tower with the missile. The first thing you want to do is you're going to want to get the position of their of the target. Um, you can do this um, going F5 and then um, going to the place that you want to hit. And as you can see up here, we have the coordinates of the area, like where you are right now. Since I'm at the top of the tower that I want to hit, just get the coordinates that are there. And then you're going to want to write them down. You don't have to write them on the computer like I'm doing, but um, on a piece of paper or work, or just remember them. Um, but it's pretty simple. And then you'll need those later. Then um, you're going to want to just set the day correctly. And then you're going to want to go back to the missile launcher. And let's see here. So then you're going to want to go to the missile controller. You're going to want to type in the correct position that you want to hit. And then you're not going to want to fire right away. Now, one of the problems with the missile launcher in this mod is um, it's an entity which it shoots up, and um, wherever the, mi the missile travels has to be um, loaded into the game. Um, if you're not really familiar with that, it's kind of complicated to explain. I'm not going to go much into detail of it, but if you played Minecraft for a while, you'll, you'll probably have a good idea of what I'm talking about. Um, so, and you can hear, uh, see here, shout into addressing this. Um, missiles need to have clearance of 100 nodes into the air. Hitting anything before that will cause them to explode, although not as powerfully as if they hit their target. They also need to stay loaded, which is hard unless they're using creative. Um, so well, essentially, um, one problem you're going to have is when you shoot the missile up as it is now, it will go into the air, go about 
yay high, and explode, which is definitely not what you want to happen. You're going to want to make sure all the chunks, uh, like most of the chunks um, above the missile launcher are loaded, so um, you just fly into those areas and then wait around and move and stuff. Get make sure they're loaded. And then you're going to want to make sure um, that the chunks towards the target are loaded. So essentially what's going to happen is we have... Okay, we have the missile launcher here, we have the target here, essentially what's going to happen is you're going to have a, sort of a triangle. The missile is going to go up like this, and then it's going to go down like this and hit the target. Eventually you're going to want to have all the, no, all the um, chunks here to here loaded um, in order to actually get the missile to work properly. So you're going to want to go to those areas and just kind of fly around and then to make sure they're loaded or whatever you um, normally do in your case to load them. And once you think you've got them loaded, um, you can get ready to fire the missile launcher. And make sure the coordinates are correct. Right now I have to re-enter them because I didn't save them. And then fire. And I think that chunk may not have been loaded properly all the way. So the missile disappeared. It can just fly up and half the time it'll fix it. Um, yeah, it's not great in terms of getting this to work easily, but takes a few tries, but other than that, once you get to work, it's pretty cool. And if that didn't work, I'll try firing it again, and follow the rocket as it goes up to make sure the chunks are loaded. Um, and the position should, should be correct since we fired it off, set it off, and follow it. Okay, now, yep, it loaded properly. And then there you go. And that's how it works, pretty much. It creates a nice big crater around wherever it happened to hit. Um, I'm just going to see if I can get um, a nice shot of the missile going off, uh, going to the place it's supposed to. We've now got the chunk loads, which shouldn't be much of a problem now. Let's see here. Okay, yeah, that didn't not very well. Um, not sure if they unloaded or just not displaying right, but... Oh, nope, there we go, there we go. Yeah. Oh, there, there. And so, get a little bit better look at it. It's not all that great in terms of seeing it very well because they worry about chunk loading and all that, but... Um, other than that, it's actually a pretty interesting um, feature. But, um, as you notice, each time you fire off a missile, you have to go and get a new one and reset it. Um, and you can click on the missile to put it back in inventory and all that. But it's really all there is to it, as far as I know, for the missile setup. Um, you can also um, like save the coordinates before you fire them um, and all that, but uh, it should be a little bit uh, difficult to figure out. And that's about it. This is Excalibur Zero, signing off.